that this man helped millions across the globe. I uh, have also been a member of the Scouts, and it certainly helped me living in a working class environment in Manchester to engage in things that I'd never done before. But this morning, right my people across the country will be deeply concerned, not just about Edward Colston, not just about Baden Powell, but about the idea that there is a list of 60 or more, I've even heard up to 400 statutes that can be pulled down across this country. And whilst they're concerned about getting back to, to their jobs when they're unemployed or being with their families after COVID, they'll be starting to be slightly frightened that there is a movement out there seeking not only to rewrite history, but write history in their terms, in their language. And that is not the nature of the British people. The point here is allowing monuments to remain doesn't legitimize the views on slavery. It's certainly not for someone like me of mixed race. Why would I argue the case? But if we're going to say we, we remove things that we find distasteful mm. because it represented slavery or murder or rape, then we're in a deeply slippery slope. I put out a tweet about Bath. We'd have to level Bath because the amount of rape, murder, torture and slavery that the Romans did. We'd have to pull down every almost northern town because that was built on colonial Britain and it had slavery of children in the mines. Where do we go? How far do we go? And if you say that Colston was bad, who's next? Is it Gladstone? Do we talk about George Orwell's family? Do we remove the universities? 